Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer in the Anglican Tradition. My name is the Reverend Donna Peterson and I am the Vicar of St Peter's Anglican Church in Wynnum. And we just love it here. It's a beautiful place to live and to worship. Tonight I offer evening prayer or the daily office in the Anglican tradition via a prayer book for Australia. All the text you need is on the screen. Our scripture readings will come from a new revised standard version of scripture and the psalm is the psalm that's printed in the prayer book. We uh, follow along on the screen. You can stop the video and mark your own books if you choose to or follow along in your own Bibles also or just follow the screen as it's moving along. Let's begin evening prayer for this evening. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our first canticle, the Song of Hope. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. The Lord has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty for the captives and release for those in prison, to comfort all who mourn, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a garment of splendour for the heavy heart. They shall be called trees of righteousness, planted for the glory of the Lord. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, Receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our psalm today, Psalm 68, verses 24 to 35. Your procession is seen, O God the procession of my God and King in the sanctuary. The singers go before, the musicians come after, and around them the maidens beating on the timbrels. In their choirs they bless God. Those that are sprung from the fount of Israel bless the Lord. There is the little tribe of Benjamin leading them, the throng of the princes of Judah, the princes of Zebulun, and the princes of Naphtali. Give the command, my God, in accordance with your power, that God-like power whereby you act for us. Give the command from your temple at Jerusalem, and kings shall bring you tribute. Rebuke the beast of the reeds, the herd of bulls amidst the brutish peoples. Tread down those that are greedy for silver. Scatter the peoples that relish war. Let them bring bronze from Egypt. Let the hands of the Nubians carry it swiftly to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. O oh, sing praises to the Lord. To him that rides upon the highest heavens, that were from the beginning, who utters his voice, which is a mighty voice. Ascribe power to God, whose majesty is over Israel and his might is in the clouds. Terrible is God who comes from his holy place, the God of Israel who gives power and strength to his people. Blessed be God. God who wonderfully created us and even more wonderfully restored our humanity, strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to triumph over suffering and death and grant us eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Romans 4, 1 to 12. What then shall we say was gained by Abraham, our forefather, according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, 
but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. And to the one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. Just as David also speaks of the blessing of the one to whom God counts righteousness apart from works. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are uncovered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count his sin. Is this blessing then only for the circumcised or also for the uncircumcised? For we say that faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. How then was it counted for him, to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but before he was circumcised. He received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believe without being circumcised, so that righteousness would be counted to them as well, and to make him the father of the circumcised who are not merely circumcised, but who also walk in the footsteps of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our second canticle, a song of God's children. In Christ Jesus, the life-giving law of the Spirit has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. It is the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit bears witness that we are God's children, and if God's children, then heirs of God. We are heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If we share his sufferings now, we shall be glorified with him hereafter. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing with the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Our prayer for the week for this eighth week after Pentecost. O God, the protector of all that trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we finally lose not the things eternal. Grant this, O Heavenly Father, For the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us open our hearts and our minds to prayer and to God's love within us. Lord, we come before you aware that this day is over or nearly over. And we hold before you the events that have transpired today the conversations perhaps that we have had, the meetings or encounters of which we have been a part. And we ask you to bless those people who've been a part of our day today. We give thanks for their presence in our day, in our life and in our journey. We pray for ourselves and for each other, giving thanks for ourself, 
our place in this world, our place within this day. We hold before you the problems and the sin, the struggles and the breaks that we have encountered within ourselves today, the times when we have been unkind to ourselves, the times when we have been, when we have felt unworthy. And we ask that you bless us, bless us with the knowledge that we are worthy, that in your eyes we are perfect, that we are created in your image and can only be perfect. Lord, we pray for those known to us who are sick and struggling with life at the moment, those who are struggling with procedures or surgeries, treatments, physio, rehab, those who are recovering from chemo or any other treatment. We hold before you the names and faces of those who have asked for prayer, of those who have asked for us to remember them to you. And during this quiet moment, as we listen to this water moving and watch, we hold before you the griefs and struggles within our own hearts. And we know that you may change them and bring them to something much better through your love and through your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Amen. Thank you for joining us for evening prayer this evening. It is lovely that we are able to meet in this particular way when we can't meet face to face in the building. Thank you for um, being a part of our worshipping community that meets far and wide electronically. I hope you have a lovely evening for the rest of the evening and I pray for a restful night's sleep for you. Good night and God bless. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe. Leave us a comment below if you'd like to say anything or you can contact us on any of the details that are on your screen now. Facebook, website, email or phone. Bye bye for now. God bless.